Welcome back to Team Fever, back again with another video. I'm back with another wrestling related video, and in this video, I'm giving my prediction to the 2020 Royal Rumble. I'm excited for the pay per view because it's the Royal Rumble, but I'm not really excited because of the card. It's kind of weird because I'm not really excited about anything in WWE nowadays. I, I've said that in multiple of my wrestling related videos. By the way, if y'all have not seen my other wrestling related videos, be sure to check those videos out. You can go on my channel and there's a playlist for wrestling related videos and there's also a playlist for my Watch Wrestling With Me videos, which I highly suggest y'all watch that. I watch wrestling matches with y'all and we just talk about them and watch. It's a really cool series that I got going on. Watch Wrestling With Me. I really want y'all to watch. I think the last match we watched was like Zack Sabre Jr. versus Sammy Guevara. I think that was the last one. It might have been another one. But make sure y'all check it out. I watched some really cool matches. But back to the Royal Rumble. I was looking at the car, and some of these matches I didn't even know was happening. If <laughs> I'm 100% honest. But let's just start from the top. So we got Andrade versus Humberto Carrillo inside of a match to determine the. Is that the Intercontinental or the United States title? Because I'm not see. Tells you how much I pay attention. <laughs> So it's for the United States Championship. I honestly think that Andrade will retain. Rey Mysterio didn't have a long title reign in my opinion. It wasn't that long. So it's been like kind of a while since it's been a really long title reign. So I just pulled up the list of the past United States Champions. And the last long reign we had was actually AJ Styles. I actually didn't even realize that he had it for as long as he did. He had it for almost five months. But when you take away AJ Styles, like... Uh, Rey Mysterio's reign wasn't very long, Ricochet's reign wasn't very long, Samoa Joe's reign wasn't very long, apparently Rey Mysterio had it earlier this year, and, or last year, and that wasn't very long. I don't even remember Rey Mysterio having it last year, but Samoa Joe, our truth like, it's been a while since we had a very long reign with the United States Championship. So I, I think that Andrade should have the title for at least, like, triple digits right now he's at like 28 days I would not like to see him drop it in just over 30 days so I'm, I'm picking Umberto to get the win but if I'm 100% honest I think Umberto will get the title from Andrade before Wrestlemania or at Wrestlemania I wouldn't be mad if there was like a triple threat ladder match between these two and Rey Mysterio at Wrestlemania that would be a great match in my opinion but my winner will be Andrade to get the win here Next match, we got Bayley versus Lacey Evans for the SmackDown Women's Championship. And I actually am going with Lacey Evans to get the win. I think that WWE is pushing her so much and they like her so much. I mean, I'm okay with Lacey Evans, but I don't know. Like, I just feel like she's not one of the best. Like, she, if I was in charge of WWE, she wouldn't be, like, on the top of my list. She wouldn't be number one, two, three, four, or maybe not even number five of who I would have in this spot versus Bayley right now. So... I don't know, like, I, I, but I do feel like she will get the title, like, she's been getting pushed since this time last year, or even before that, so, yeah. It seems like the feud has been between Lacey Evans and Sasha Banks anyway, so I feel like maybe Lacey Evans gets the win here, and then Lacey versus Sasha at WrestleMania, which, that doesn't sound appealing for a WrestleMania Women's Championship match, but whatever. Or maybe, maybe even Sasha gets the win from Lacey, and then Bayley is upset like oh you did what I couldn't do and then it's Bailey versus Sasha I would much rather have that but I don't even know I don't even know if I want that it shows how into the Smackdown women's division I actually am next match is Shorty G versus Sheamus uh, I think this is the easiest match for me to predict I'm going with Sheamus to get the win even though I would not be surprised if Sheamus actually lost because it's WWE Roman Reigns versus King Corbin in a false count anywhere match. I actually am excited for this match. I think it'll be fun. I think it will be a lot of shenanigans going on with the Usos and with King Corbin's court or whatever you want to call them, Bobby Roode and Dolph Ziggler and all that. I feel like uh, this match will be fun. It'll be a lot of smoke and mirrors. It might go all over the place. And I think that in the end, Roman Reigns will get the win. I wish that the stipulation for this match was that the winner advances to the Royal Rumble and the loser is out of the Royal Rumble. Because I think then the near fall will be more intense. Because like, oh, Roman Reigns, he's about to, like, because everyone thinks he's going to win the Rumble. So it's like, oh my God, if you get, like, these near falls, like these great false finishes, it might put some doubt in our minds who think, oh, Roman Reigns definitely winning the Rumble. We might be like, oh, wait, if he loses this, he's not in the Rumble. Like, it would throw a lot of people off. So I wish that was a stipulation, but it's not. And I just think Roman Reigns is getting the win here. 
The next match is Becky Lynch defending the Raw Women's Championship against Asuka, one of my favorites. And as much as I will want Asuka to win, and I think it'll be a better story if Asuka actually did win. I actually am going with Becky Lynch to win because I feel like Becky Lynch will go against Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania for the Women's Championship. And I actually think Becky Lynch will win. Royal alert for my Women's Royal Rumble prediction for in a couple minutes. The next match is Daniel Bryan versus The Fiend Bray Wyatt for the WWE Championship. And as much as I would want Daniel Bryan to win, like, I really, really want Daniel Bryan to win. I think that would be great. I really think that would be great. I wish that this was the WrestleMania match. Is there any way for them to extend this and have Daniel Bryan be the one to beat The Fiend at WrestleMania? That would be the best option. Actually, the best option would be for this match not to even happen. This match should not be happening at the Royal Rumble. Daniel Bryan should have won the Royal Rumble. And then, like, it would have been so funny if Daniel Bryan won the Royal Rumble and the people he had to pick was, you either can pick Brock Lesnar or Bray Wyatt. The Fiend. Like, it, like I don't know. Because then it might have made Daniel Bryan look like a punk because he would have picked The Fiend. And then Paul Heyman would be like, of course he didn't pick Brock Lesnar. Ha, ha, ha. I don't know, but I actually am going with the Fiend Bray Wyatt to get the win here. This should be a good match. Oh, isn't this like a stipulation match, a strap match? I don't know. Now, that just make me definitely think that Daniel Bryan not going to win because that's a weird match. And if Daniel Bryan won the title from the Fiend and that was the Fiend's first loss was a strap match, that's awkward and that's weird. So, I'm going with the Fiend to get the win over my boy Daniel Bryan. The next match is the Women's Royal Rumble match. I think it's completely ridiculous that there's only five names announced for the match. I guess I can read them off to y'all. Charlotte Flair, Alexa Bliss, Nikki Cross, Sarah Logan, and Natalya. That is sad. And like, I'm just so not excited for this. Like, I'm excited because it's a Royal Rumble. And Royal Rumbles are always fun. But they have did, no, they have not hyped up these Royal Rumble matches at all. At all, there's only five people that talked about winning. I'm going around to Rousey to win. It would be nice if Shayna Baszler won, but I really just think it's gonna be Ronda Rousey to get the win and go on to WrestleMania to face. But actually, maybe it won't. Maybe Shayna Baszler wins and Ronda Rousey returns at WrestleMania. That would be cool. That would actually be really, really cool. But Shayna Baszler did just lose to Rhea Ripley, so I think it's kind of, it's kind of weird. <laughs> So I think it's kind of weird for her to go from losing the NXT title to winning the Royal Rumble and facing Becky Lynch. So I'm going to go with Ronda Rousey to get the win. I think I think she will return, and I think that this has been like a year-long story, and I think that Becky Lynch will actually beat her at WrestleMania, which is kind of weird, though, because then that would be like two out of the three Royal Rumble, women's Royal Rumble winners have now lost at WrestleMania. But that's my prediction for the, Royal, for the women's Royal Rumble match. Now on to the men's Royal Rumble match. There's a couple more people announced, most of them from Raw. Uh, I'm gonna read them off right quick. We got, I completely forgot Brock Lesnar was number one in this Royal Rumble. I completely forgot that. But we got Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, AJ Styles, Eric Rowan, Randy Orton, Rey Mysterio, Ricochet, Drew McIntyre, Elias King, Corbin, Dolph Ziggler, Otis Tucker, Rusev, Bobby Lashley, Aleister Black, Buddy Murphy, Braun Strowman, Jinsuke Nakamura, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, Small Joe, Kofi Kingston, Big E, and our truth So I think there's going to be some 24-7 championship shenanigans with our truth That's my big prediction there. But as far as the winner, I honestly just think it's going to be Roman Reigns. I don't have any... So anything that happens in this match will be a surprise to me. Any, If anything other than Roman Reigns, as long as Roman Reigns is inside the ring, or if he hasn't entered yet, if he's still eligible to win this match, nothing will surprise me. Or no, is that right? Yeah, nothing will surprise me until he's out the match. I definitely think he's inside the final two. Rather, he's the winner or not, he's definitely in final two. And that's what I'm saying, like, as long as he's in the ring, nothing's gonna surprise me because I think it's almost a given when you think about that he has not had a title match since he's been back that I remember. If he has, I don't remember it. He's been built up as kind of like an underdog right now with the Corbin feud. He just got back up with the Usos. So, five times Roman Reigns is about to main event WrestleMania. I see that happening. It's I don't want it to. I wouldn't mind Roman Reigns being world champion right now. I would not mind him as a title run, but... The fact that he's about to be a WrestleMania main event for five times, I don't agree with that. If I could pick my own winner, like, I haven't even thought of that because I don't even know. 
Like, I guess the second place winner I could see it being is actually Brock Lesnar. Have Brock Lesnar destroy everybody, go on to... <laughs> I just thought about it, but it's no way Brock Lesnar's winning this match. It's absolutely no way, because there's no way he's going to be inside this match from number one to number 30. There's no way Brock Lesnar's about to wrestle an hour match. I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. So I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, and, like, even for him to, like, not be dominant, like, be able to lay down and chill out, like, I don't see him being taken out to where he can act like he's injured for so long. So I have no clue. But I wouldn't mind it. Brock Lesnar actually won this match and went on to face The Fiend. The Fiend versus Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. I wouldn't actually mind that. I really wouldn't. If it was up to me and I got to pick the winner, I honestly would pick Aleister Black. I think he's been built up all year and he hasn't lost. And Aleister Black versus Brock Lesnar or versus The Fiend is a match I can get on with. I, I see that as a... A main event of WrestleMania. So I think Aleister Black would be the best winner if it was up to me. But in WWE's mind, I think the winner will be Roman Reigns. But that's it for this video, y'all. Be sure to leave y'all predictions inside the comment section down below, as well as give this video a like, comment, subscribe. Check out my other wrestling related videos by clicking the wrestling playlist inside of my playlist section on this channel, as well as check out my watch wrestling with me videos. There's a lot of wrestling related content I got on this channel. And until next time, y'all, catch you later.